First, turn off the power and disconnect all cables from the percussion sound module. Disconnect the cable from the hi-hat control pedal. Hook the cable on the cable holder. Then remove the hi-hat pedal. Next, remove the kick pedal. Loosen the bolt on the module mount and rotate the sound module to the vertical position. Then tighten the bolt once again to secure the position. Loosen the bolt on the hi-hat arm and rotate to the vertical position and then tighten the bolt. Loosen the hand knob and swing the arm and hi-hat around to the front side of the kit, then tighten the knob firmly. Loosen the bolt to fold TOM1 to be in a vertical position. Tighten the bolt. Stow away the cymbal rod and fold the cymbal in a vertical position. And then tighten the bolt and lever. Loosen the hand knob and lower it while turning it to align with the frame. and then tighten the knob. Loosen the bolt to fold TOM3 to the vertical position. Then loosen the hand knob to swing the arm around the front side of the kit. Loosen and place TOM2 in a vertical position, and then tighten. Lower the cymbal rod to fold up the ride cymbal in a vertical position. And tighten the bolt. Loosen the hand knob and lower it while turning it to align with the frame and then tighten the knob. Loosen the hand knob to turn the kick pad to align with the frame. And then do the same for the pedal plate. Loosen the hand knob and fold the stand inward. And then tighten the knob. Loosen the hand knob and lower the snare pad and then tighten. Your kit now is folded up and ready for storage. You can easily lift and carry the kit. The optional carrying case CBTDP makes carrying the kit by yourself very convenient. Now let's place the cushion between the legs of the stand and secure it with the Velcro strap. There are two pouches for the kick pedal and hi-hat controller. Remove the beater and place the kick pedal into the larger pouch and then zip closed. Next, place the hi-hat controller into the smaller pouch and zip closed. Place the two pouches into the bag. Here is how the two pouches should look inside the bag. Put the kit into the bag. Once everything is in position, simply zip closed. Place the beater and the drumsticks in the side pocket and zip closed. Now you and your TD4KP are ready for the gig.